Hi there, it's time for another domino trick tutorial. Now let's just dive right into this. I need two dominoes. Let me zoom in here. And one of them should be standing while the other one should be lying on its face. Now the two should be hugging and let's just rotate this around so that the face of the domino is facing you. Next I'll get a couple of dominoes, red dominoes, and stack them on their long edge like so and place them to the right of the orange dominoes. Do the same thing with a couple other dominoes on the left side of the orange ones. Just like that. Now the positioning of the red dominoes in relation to the orange ones are very specific. So let's go through this. The outer faces of the red dominoes should be one domino length apart. So as you can see, they are a bit far. So I'll adjust this accordingly. Of course, the red dominoes should be parallel to each other. Secondly, if I were to place a yellow domino or any domino bridging the two red dominoes in the center, the long edge of this yellow domino should be lined up with the orange face of this domino. But this is not where this domino goes. So I'll overhang this yellow domino to the left of the tower. You could also do it to the right, but you'd have to mirror this entire tutorial. So let's do it this way. So as you can see, the long edge of this yellow domino should be lined up with the face of this orange domino, and these two should be lined up on the right side. Also this yellow domino should um, be evenly spaced on this red domino so that the length of this top edge of the red domino is the same as the length over here. Next I have two green dominoes and I'm going to bridge them over the red dominoes. They're going to stand on their long edge and if you were to look at the tower from top down, the green and red dominoes should form a square, just like a regular tower. Next up, I have two blue dominoes, and I'll place them one each on top of the green dominoes on their face. If you were to look from the side, they should form two perfectly symmetrical T's. Next, I'll grab an orange domino, like so, and put it on the red domino such that it is centered right in the middle of the tower. The space between this orange domino and the two blue dominoes should be the same, and it should be evenly spaced from the two sides of the tower, left and right. Next, I have two green dominoes, and I'll place them normally as if it's a regular tower, ignoring the blue, domino, blue dominoes, like so. So the faces of the bottom two green dominoes should line up with the edge or ends of the two top green dominoes, just like a regular tower. Now, please note that these four red dominoes and two orange dominoes form the base and the regular unit of the tower is all of this the yellow, green, blue, and this top orange domino. So from here on out you're gonna continue the pattern. You'll overhang a yellow domino to the right side of the tower. They must alternate. And the yellow domino should be centered just like this yellow domino is. So the left side of this orange and yellow domino should be lined up and the exposed edge of this green domino here and here where the yellow domino is standing should be equal. So that's how that should be spaced. And if you were able to look for through this green domino, this yellow and orange domino should look like a T, just like the blue and green ones. And the next You'll continue the second unit of the tower by placing two more green dominoes, like so. So this is just like continuing the tower. 
and these top four green dominoes when you look from top down should look like a square. And continue on with two more blue dominoes, again making a couple of T's with the green ones and the blue ones. Just like that. And then I'll place another orange domino, just like this, and center it on top of the yellow domino. And then you just keep continuing on as normal. And one more yellow domino. So when you build a tower, you make the base and you make these modules right here, or units, and you just want to alter the yellow dominoes, left, right, left, right, or right, left, right, left. To end the tower, you place one extra yellow domino, following the rules of all the yellow dominoes that they must alternate and get three more dominoes. In this case, I choose blue. Just like that, and you want to stack them on their faces, like that. Next, stand them upright, such that the faces are facing you, and place them in the center of the tower on the yellow domino. Just like so. Finally, to trigger the whole domino set, you need a whole bunch of dominoes. And you want to just make a domino line so that it will strike this trigger orange domino. Now, the domino that will hit that trigger should be about, or at least, one domino's width away from this green domino. Green domino. Or else when it falls, it will uh, start hitting the bottom part of the green domino. Anyways, make sure you don't hit the red sides of the red dominoes and continue the domino line. So make sure the first part that approaches the tower is straight so that it will not hit the red dominoes and it will hit squarely the red or sorry the orange trigger domino. Alrighty so what should happen is that this blue domino line will knock over that orange trigger domino. This yellow domino should fall that way and that will lead this orange domino to fall that way. This yellow domino will then fall the other way, counterclockwise, while the orange domino will follow suit. This yellow domino should fall that way and as well knock over the blue dominoes. Now hopefully this will work in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now that was awesome. <laughs> now um, because it fell down so tremendously fast and interestingly, I guess, I should call this the breakaway tower. Now um, that seemed instantaneous, so let's see the playback. Yeah, so if you look closely, it was not instantaneous. And if you were to make a larger tower, the delay before it starts to crumble is a lot longer. So, and you will see a bunch of dominoes slowly trickle up in uh, what looks like fracture signs, fracture lines, or some other thing. But uh, let's see some more footage so I don't have to talk about this and just imagine what's happening.
So there are many different ways of connecting the towers, but if you were paying attention, the second to the last chain reaction had very few towers. Um, normally I like making a squiggly line to cover the entire coffee table to make a nice final chain reaction, but uh, there is a problem with this tower. That is, the higher the towers are, the more they'll spread out. It looks nice, but they will start setting off other chain reactions that is not supposed to be done until later. Unless, of course, that's what you planned the whole time. <laughs> Basically, when you store a lot of potential energy on a domino, when you place it high, it gains a lot of kinetic energy by the time it hits the table. So possibly one thing you could do is uh, add a barrier, which I'm not really a fan of. So to uh, counter that, I might make a giant domino wall, something that is stable enough to hit or take the um, impact of other dominoes that have uh, slowed down enough. So anyway, this has been the Breakaway Tower Tutorial. Thanks for watching.